Tweed, Quashy, and uh, Dan Clare. They've scored in almost every game that they've played. Well, speaking of them, let's uh, take a look at their cast. Xavier Haynes is back in goal, and uh, he replaces Langai. Desai Lewis will be the captain of this team. Lindell Sween, the birthday boy, wears the number 10. JDL Joseph has been destructive on the right, while Jaheem Danclair has banged in goals in three of the last four matches. Well, as we look at the lineup, of course, uh, no captain in the back for Salmon and Lewis. The midfield is uh, easily commanded by Kwashi. Sween up front plays as a false nine. Van Clare as the lone front runner. Oh, the homeboys. They're set. They're ready to go. We'll be introduced to them in just a second as Johan Cornell makes sure that the net is right. And Isaiah Diaz, one of the goalkeepers of the last campaign, he will be back in the mix. Kristen Gomez and Oliveri both have national under 15 experience. While Darian Marfan, remember him from last season as well as one of their key players, he will be looking to lead them in a game against a team that has been scoring lots of goals. Wayne Shepard is on the bench. Well, Diaz is going to be the one at the back to lead the charges. A team that only conceded three goals so far this season. Stapleton up front is a handful. Ashing on the right hand side will create some gaps. Let's look back now. We rewind the clock. Andrew Samuel's got us started. Arima controlled possession, but San Juan controlled the chances. The first one being from Kwashi. Had the right idea, hit the target, but not finding the net. Then Sween, one man dancing show. Joseph had a chance to tap it in. He chose Dan Clare and good defending from that man. And then Kwashi involved again and Dan Clare forcing a save from Diaz. You're going to see a lot more of him in the highlight reel. This time, it was that man, Rogers, forcing him to get low. On the other end, though, Gomez and company were trying to get past Haynes. Solid as a rock. But I told you about Diaz. It was good every time. This game needed a difference maker, and that man was swinging on his birthday, forcing a deflection. And then Jaheem Dan Clare, the kiss of death, finding a way past Diaz. It's only been beaten three times a season in five matches. Second half, Marfan tried to create magic, hitting the crossbar. And again, Marfan finding Ashing, but he couldn't find the frame. And Marfan, maybe the best chance, forcing a stretch from Haynes, but that was all that he found. Because they couldn't find a way back in the match. And when Andrew Samuels blew his whistle, it meant that San Juan were 1-0 winners. Let's see what the numbers tell us. Certainly a massive improvement in terms of shot for Arima North. Eight in particular. But look at that, just below that. Just one on target compared to San Juan making half of their ten attempts. And, uh, well, the only interesting thing at the end was the possession stat. Heavily dominated by Arima North. But as they always say, it is goals that win matches and San Juan holding that one goal over Arima North. Hans Devines is standing by and he's got the job of talking, Tom, out of the match. Thank you very much, James Saunders. Kent Guy, man of the match today. Congratulations. What does winning this trophy mean to you and who would you like to dedicate it to? I'd like to dedicate it to Swain today. It's your birthday. So happy birthday, Swain. So I dedicate this one to you. And Joshua Lewis, he, he injured, but... I, de I dedicate this one to him. I like the way you keep that team spirit. What is the mood currently in the camp of Sawa North? Mood is good. Um, we obviously get the job done today. Still more work to do, but at the end of the day, we get the win. All right, congratulations. Right now, we get ready for Brent Sancho with the coaches. Yes, coach. Of course, uh, Domination from the possession point of view, but not the result you want at the end of the day. Your assessment of the 90 minutes plus. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate San Juan and Coach Mo. Uh, they came with a particular plan and they carried it out. Um, I thought we played too slow. The tempo was incorrect. We needed to play uh, at a quicker tempo to move them into bad positions. Um, second half was a little better, but the tempo wasn't right today. Um, and that's it. That's the assessment. We have to regroup and go again. 
Well, you talked about, uh, of course, the second half performance. And it was a stark contrast to the first. You started to see, find yourself in more uh, goal scoring opportunities. What did you say at half time? Increase the pace. We were passing the ball too slowly. Sawa were obviously sitting back, waiting for us to come pick off the mistakes we were making and then play from there. And um, I thought I had too many players having off moments in the first half. I think they had the post twice off of two errors that we made. Um, and, and, and that was it. The boys regrouped, they raised the tempo, they cleaned up the, the errors that they were making and we were able to get further forward with a little adjustment that we made. And we were able to get further forward, but um, at the end of the day, it wasn't enough. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best to you. Okay. Coach, of course, uh, a game that historically produces close games. Another close one here today. Your assessment of the 90 minutes. I thought it was a good tactical game. Uh, I remember they did a lot of switching in terms of formation. You know, and at times it was effective, but we defended well. And once you defend well and be consistent, you always give yourself a chance to win. Well, you talk about defending well. Of course, you lost your captain, Lewis. Then, of course, Ferguson in the game. You had a makeshift centre-half in Kwashi, but still you were very resilient defensively. Talk to us about your defence performance here today. I think we were solid. You know, that is the type of job you do on the training ground every day. So, one man down, the next man up, and he just step into it. I think Kwashi did very well as a stopper. Uh, Ken guided very well, and hopefully they get the confidence going forward. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best. You're welcome.